We got the Mustang out here on a beautiful day in Florida, looking good. Parked up nice for this two year video. This video is gonna be going over the pros and cons of owning a 2018 Mustang GT uh, for two years. I received this car about two years ago and a few days. So a couple of days ago was the two year mark and thought I'd make this video. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a little different than my normal point of view drive videos. But as I said before, we're going to be going over what has happened in this car with the pros and cons and the mods I've done of the car for two years now. And if you like this video, make sure you leave a like. So I've had this car for two years now. Like I said, I put many miles on the car. I drove it down from New Jersey to Florida. That's where I am right now. This is where I live now. So I definitely have had a lot of experience in the driver's seat with this car. A lot of, had a lot, I had a lot of seat time is what I'm saying. So now I'm going to give you guys a rundown of how I feel about the car. But first, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you some of the mods that I've put on this car in two years. All right, y'all. So this is a very modded out car. As you can see, there's a bunch of little modifications on this car. Like the hood is aftermarket. The wings aftermarket. Even the wheels are aftermarket. You might not think so, but I'll get into that later. These are aftermarket. Tint, everything. A lot of aftermarket stuff done in this car. When I bought the car, it came with... A good amount of this aftermarket stuff but i did add some some of the aftermarket stuff and i'll show you what all right so first we're gonna pop the hood show you guys what this first aftermarket mod is that i put on it all right so this is a five liter coyote engine First, before I actually tell you the model, I'm gonna tell you exactly what kind of car this is for those who do not know. This is my 2018 Mustang GT Premium, uh, finished in shadow black. And I also have had another one just like this before, but it got totaled. Um, I do have videos and stuff on that. And I also have videos on the mods that I put in this car. So let's jump right into it. I put on the stainless power long tube headers that you can see right there. Stainless power long tube headers. I absolutely love it. I think it's definitely worth it. If you have a Mustang GT, definitely put long tube headers in. It really wakes up the car. I have a whole video dedicated to putting the long tube headers in the car. So if you want to watch that, click the card up on the top. I'm going to link that video right there. While we have this engine bay open, I also replaced this cold air intake filter. This is a Roush cold air intake filter. Uh, the other one was dirty, so I kind of just replaced it. I don't really call that a mod, but I just replaced it basically to make it cleaner and more healthy for the car. As you can tell from the beginning of the video, this car is very loud. So it has the stainless power long tube headers and is paired with a Borla catback exhaust um, by 4 Performance. So that is the sound that this car has. In this two years, I also added the tint all around. Uh, I believe this is like 10 or 15 percent and that is like 20 so i added that tint on the car i also added 25 millimeter wheel spacers as you can see the wheels are sticking out a little bit the tires i mean so i definitely think it makes it look a lot more meaner and more of an aggressive stance i did just get attacked by being finishing that sentence so uh don't mind me but uh, jumping right into the next mod i do have a street arrow diffuser i put on here it did have the two sides on the other one. So this is what it looks like from the back, the street hour diffuser. Uh, the two sides one, it kind of didn't really fit with my exhaust muffler there. So I had to take them off. I might cut them to resize them to make them fit the car. But as of right now, this is what it is. This right here is from Louvers. I have the Louvers still at, um, at home, but I took it off and those things are just to hold down the Louvers because I think this car needs a little change from having louvers on, so that's why that's there. This car does have the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. I really have nothing to complain about them, except when it's like freezing cold out. They do not do well in the cold. But other than that, they're amazing tires. 
I don't really spin much. So that's really a plus. This car is tuned. It has a burble tune on it as well, as you'll hear later in the video. But this car, when I got it, it was already tuned. So I never got to retune it. Um, actually, I did, but then I put it back to the original tune because of some issues that we had along the way. I've also filmed that. So everything that's happened in this car is on this channel. So if you are interested in everything, it is all logged in videos. This Ravini hood is though, like probably one of my favorite mods on this car, just because of how aggressive it looks like with the hood and everything. So I definitely want to get a front lip for the car in the future and lowering springs. That's my next two mods. But yeah, guys, those are all the mods that I put on this car in two years. Um, and I, I really like it. So I think the whole car kind of looks like a little Batmobile in my opinion, and it looks really good. One thing about the 2018 year Mustangs that came out is that they do have the quad exhaust. Or this car's going crazy in here for no reason. It's a little Nissan Altima. Whatever. Back to the video. Uh, the, the quad exhaust. The, they, serve, they first introduced this on the Mustangs in 2018. And personally, I love it so much more than the regular single tubes. So even though these wheels look like a performance pack car, they are actually not. These are actually, this is, since this is not a performance pack car, you don't get these wheels on them, but these are from fordperformance.com and these are matte black compared to the, they are really dirty right now, but don't mind that. They are matte black and the original ones that come with the performance pack car are not matte black. So these are all from fordperformance.com. Everything from this car is made basically from fordperformance.com. The wheels, uh, these, I don't know what you call these window louver and side scoop. Um, there's a hood strut in the engine. There's a lot of things here from fordperformance.com. Also, another mod that's on this car I forgot to mention was these blacked out taillights. These, these are aftermarket taillights. These are more blacked out to go with the blacked out theme um, compared to the regular bright red ones. So this exhaust is a great exhaust, especially paired with the uh, stainless power long tip headers. They love a deep exhaust, but it can get raspy when you want it to be. And also, since it's very loud, it can also get very quiet whenever you want it to be. So it could be loud or quiet, depending on how you want the car to be. I definitely need to clean these tips. It says Ford right there on it. Yeah, they're very dirty. I need to give this car a wash. But yeah, the exhaust, um, uh, I'm going to be driving the car in later in this video, so you'll see how it sounds. So I think I covered pretty much everything on the outside of this video. Um, mainly that I need to talk about for mods wise. So let's jump on to the interior. Jumping right onto the interior of this car. Um, since it is a premium, it does come with the seat memory. So it has the memory. You can remember what seat, whenever you want to move it, just click a button. And I love these seats too, because these are the cold and heated seats compared to the Recaro seats that I had in my last GT. Um, honestly, I like the cars because they're more sportier, but these are way more comfortable, especially for a long road trip. Jumping right into the steering wheel. I, it is upside down right now because I am parked, but I did add these um, paddle shifters. They are aluminum, so listen to the sound of them. Compared to the little plastic sound, get the nice aluminum feel. I do not have the 408, the 401A package on this car. So that means I just have the regular dash. I don't have the digital dash. It revs up to 7,500 RPMs. And when it's open throttle, man, these things just sound insane. I do have the big screen on this car. So that's another plus feature. I did add this carbon fiber on here. Got carbon fiber there, carbon fiber there, carbon fiber up there. And I got a dash camera here. Uh, this is a Thinkware dash camera. I love having that dash camera because I also have one in the back right there. So it definitely helps me in situations where if I had someone say, you did this, but I didn't. I have that to help me. All right, so before we throw in the head strap and get going and for a little point of view drive in this video, let's talk about the problems that I've had with this car in two years. So realistically, I only had one problem that was with the car. I've had two problems, but the first problem was because someone, the owner of this car before me put in an aftermarket shifter. Uh, this is a 10 speed by the way, but they put in a, uh, they put in a manual shifter on it, the little black ball. It's on, the, it's on the channel if you want to check it out, but it would come right up out of the thing. So when I went to shift, it, it would just come right up. So I had to get that fixed. But I don't really count that as a problem with this car because that was an aftermarket thing. But other than that, I had one problem. It was a, we had a coolant leak. But once again, that was also aftermarket. He put an aftermarket um, silver cap on it and a black box. But that box that box was leaking, so we had to go to 
got to go to the shop and get that fixed. So those are actually the only two problems that I've had with this car in two years. So needless to say, this car has been amazing in two years. And I think it is a great car for anyone out there looking for a fast sports car, reliable, and it's really fun. There has been a lot of 2018 Mustangs out there when it was first released that had a lot of problems, but this one, for me, it's had zero, so I'm very thankful for that. Let's compare this to the six-speed manual. I had the 10-speed automatic. 10-speed automatic is faster um, just because it shifts faster than you know a person doing it because it's a computer, but frankly, I love having an automatic because if I had a manual, it would be annoying living in this, living in this city, having to shift all the time. And frankly, I know that's really fun for some people, but for me, that would just not be that fun. Sure, it would be amazing banging gears, full throttle, but you know, hitting stoplights left and right, it's not really that fun. In two years, I've had a lot of people talk to me about this car. I've had a lot of people come up to me, you know, at gas stations, at restaurants, just in general, people talking to me about the car. So it definitely is an approachable car. People see this and want to talk to me about it, ask me questions. So that's another thing in two years that I love about this car because it's a way to meet new people and just it's a conversation starter. Let's talk about the miles per gallon on this car. So this car has good and bad miles per gallon points all right so when i drove here from new jersey to florida i averaged 24 miles per gallon and that is absolutely amazing compared to when i settled down to the city not driving highway much i get 16 miles per gallon i mean it's still not bad in today's economy for a sports car to have 16 miles per gallon but when i had 24 you know it's absolutely amazing and you can't beat it well you can beat it with those people out there in little toyotas and whatever averaging a lot more but for this kind of car to have that kind of miles per gallon you can't beat it compared to all those trucks and you know the trx's and the hellcats who average nine miles per gallon my dad has an f-150 platinum he gets like probably 12 or 13 miles per gallon um so this car is really good for, uh, miles per gallon wise and especially in today's economy all right so i think that concludes about all the mods of good and the bad um, not really much bad to it, but I went over my experience with this car, owning it for two years now. And I think it's about time you guys uh, truly hear this car and show you why. It's such a, I don't know even how to explain it. A neck breaker, obnoxious car that everyone just has to look at. All right, guys, so I think it's time to be throwing the head strap and take this little thing for a ride. All right, so what I like to do is I always put it in, hit this thing right here, puts it in Sport Plus mode, as you can see right there. And then I like to put it in Steering Comfort. And that's how I drive this thing every single day. Don't you leave it in casual, I do nothing. I always put it in Sport Plus, put it in casual mode. If you guys do like this kind of part of the video where I point of view drive it, um, I do make videos all the time. If you look on my channel, driving like this so if you like it maybe go watch one of those videos but i'll shut up now so you can hear the stainless power long tube headers paired with the four performance by boiler exhaust real quick as you guys can see man oh man you can't you can't beat this car but yeah guys i really have nothing else to say about this car bad wise 
um it never overheats for me i know some people have problems with their air conditioner there's no problems with this air conditioner in here the interior i absolutely love it's perfect i got apple carplay on here when i want to um yeah you got all these different moves you got adaptive cruise control this thing up here uh this is an aftermarket mirror uh, i got all aftermarket led lights in here um, and I love the ambient lighting that goes in the door, in the cup holders, um, at your feet. It's amazing. shifts it's too hot out here for me to leave the windows down and just sit here i gotta have the ac on it's too hot in florida man i really love how the 2018 mustang gt has all these little panels right here this one's for the hazards this one's for traction control uh, steering and your modes you have casual mode or normal mode sport plus drag strip track and weather snow and cold weather snow and rainy weather i guess so i love how these all like you know you just hit it and it's like it looks it kind of feels like you're in an airplane kind of i love having that feature feels like i'm in top gun got all my little panels right here you know what i mean yeah, I love this car. I gotta get an oil change done. I do have 51,929 miles in this car. I drive this car. I don't garage, whatever. I'll keep it in the garage. Uh, I do have a storage unit that I put in when I go away places because I travel a lot. But other than that, I drive it like I've owned it for two years. I don't know how many miles I put on it. It can't, I haven't put on that many, but I put on a good amount. So. One little hit for you guys. guys that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video it's um different than what i usually do i usually do point of view drive videos but if you like that point of view drive that you just seen i have a lot more videos like i said on this channel so definitely go check them out i respond to every single comment so if you have a question or do you want to say something to me let me know in the comments and i will respond but yeah leave a like comment subscribe on this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace